Hello friends, welcome back to our channel UiPath Bots. In this video, we are going to uh, do a practice session on data scraping. This session is completely going to be a, a workshop today. So now, before going into this video, I would request you to please do subscribe our channel and click on the bell icon and select all options so that you never miss our new video notifications okay and one more small request is please do share with these videos with your friends and colleagues so this will definitely encourage me to come up with new content and more and more practice session okay now let us see today's question see here we are going to use uh, a website that is from uipad that is acme test uipad.com so just log into this website and create your own account using register now uh, our question today is we are supposed to create a process that automates extracting the data from acme work items page as soon as you log into this you see a button called work items there will be some data under work items just extract that data into a csv file that is our agenda today Okay, for this, what we are going to do, we are going to use data scraping wizard to extract the data table from all the pages and ignore the empty columns. Okay, then close the browser. So we have one, two, and three, four. Altogether, four steps. Now let us go. Uh, let us open our Acme page. Okay, this is the Acme page. Now we are supposed to give a user uh, email name, email ID and password. If you are a new user, please click on register and create your own account. So I have registered to this. Uh, so there are two uh, steps involved in this. One is to log into this uh, website and the other one is extracting the work items data. So I'm concentrating on uh, extracting part only because login anyways it, it is a simple one where we can use our email ID and password using some type into activities. So moreover uh, if, if you know if you want to know about that you can please watch our previous videos to use type into activity and click activity. Now let us concentrate on extracting part. Okay. So now let us move on to our studio. So please open your uh, UiPath studio along with me. Practice uh, along with me so that you never forget what you have learned in this session. So I have created a, uh, a sequence called data scraping work items underscore at me. Now let me drag and drop a sequence into this. Sequence, sequence, yes, it is there. Okay. As soon as we use any activity, I always request you to please rename this. Work items. Right. Also, please give an annotation whenever it is needed. So what I am going to use this annotation this is my process now what i'm going to do so now i'm not concentrating on open browser click login and all i'm directly attack uh, attacking on the work items part so i want to attach to the window so attach browser i can use okay so since that we have this part open i'm going to indicate the browser okay so this is done now my first step is to select work items part so you're supposed to click use click use click and select work items right now as soon as we click this what happens we could see some data okay. 
see if this is your first time logging in please make sure to go to user options and click on the see now since this is my first login I could not able to see any data here what it says please go to user options reset test data so let me go back let us copy some test data so reset test data reset test data don't worry about this application this is up this application is just for our practice purpose for our learning purpose so just do whatever I am telling here concentrate more on extracting part okay now let us see we could get some test data here okay there are n number of pages here so and also we, we could see some columns over here now our agenda is to scrap to extract this complete data into a csv file now till where we are here in our coding we have clicked on work items which resulted to this page okay now use data scraping method so use data scraping click on this it will open an extract wizard data scraping extract wizard now we have we already learned how to use this wizard right so click next select what you want to read okay i just want to read this complete what to say this 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 particular complete call a complete tabular format okay so say for example since it is in a tabular format we can click on any of the tab uh, any place on the ta table say suppose a cell here what it says you selected a table cell would you like to extract the data from the whole table yes right see here it has extracted the entire table along with the header part okay right so i want to select complete data so i'm going to give zero because there are n number of uh, some nine to ten tabs right here pages right so click on finish then it will prompt to give the indicator button navigate to uh, which which will lead to the next navigated page so click on yes and give the indication here okay now it been it's been automatically saved into a data table let us see how it got right extract data table let us see the scope of the extra data table and let us change this to the outer container now what is our agenda we are supposed to copy this to a csv file so use write csv from extract data table and give a csv file path here let us create a file csv file in our project i have created a csv file let me refresh this yes at my worklist.csv now let me open this and show you what is there inside this it has nothing this is an empty file um, where is that let me reopen see it has nothing now let us go back to our code I don't want to save anything here now let us give the path here let us select our file oh, no. let me reselect this file yes this one okay include headers also right now let us run this acme is already opened let us go back to the home page because we have uh, we directly used attach browser right so we are supposed to open this start home page right now let us run our code run the file filing say let us see work items it's been clicked and then data screen see if you 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 could see here uh, under the 
పేజ్ నావిగేషన్ వన్ టూ త్రీ ఫోర్త్ వన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ రీడింగ్ నౌ అండ్ ఫిఫ్త్ వన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ గోయింగ్ రైట్ సో దాట్ వే ఇట్ ఈస్ గోయింగ్ టిల్ ద లాస్ట్ పేజ్ ఓకే సో సిన్స్ వీ హ్యావ్ ప్రొవైడెడ్ జీరో ఇన్ ద డేటా స్క్రిపింగ్ విజర్ట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ గోయింగ్ టు రీడ్ ఎక్స్ట్రాక్ట్ కంప్లీట్ డేటా ఫ్రమ్ ఆల్ ద నైన్ పేజెస్ ఓకే నౌ ఇట్ మై బీ సేవింగ్ ద డేటా ఇన్ టు a csv file let us wait until this has been completed i hope it has extracted the data let us open the csv file and let us see that super let us see the output has been done now let us open this csv perfect we have actions wiid description everything all the columns been copied and you could see the data right done now what is our question let us go back to our code and let us see the question extracted done now we are supposed to close the browser close the browser so use activities close window okay now let me run this again don't save i'm not going to save anything here let us use this to home page and one more thing here uh, we can add some find element also whether this uh, element exists or not we can use element exists before to make sure that we have uh, shifted navigated to work items so that there are n number of ways to uh, execute this code this okay so i hope you got some confidence on doing uh, data scraping using this practice session you can use your own creativity while you are doing this automation right so if you like this video please do share with your friends and colleagues too let us meet with next videos till then please keep watching our videos happy learning and happy automation thank you bye bye